which uh, only produces new musicals and was the founding executive director of that company, was the artistic director for uh, a little while, and as of March, have stepped down from like oversight of the company to focus on my own musical theater writing career. I have a full-time day job, does not pay the bills, um, but I am published as a musical theater librettist, which means I've uh, written the dialogue and structure of a show that got published. Um, it's a show intended for community theater and high schools about a bunch of math nerds trying to go to a national math competition. It's mostly girls in STEM. Um, so I have learned most of what I know about writing musicals just by doing it and by making it up as I went along. And I have gotten a little bit of like information and training on structure since then. And so I want to share a little bit of just what you would think of if you were going to go into writing a musical. So we're going to do this together. We're going to write Reunion the Musical here together. I'm going to need you guys to help me out. So um, we need a protagonist. And I have one in mind. But if anybody has a really great idea, speak now or forever hold your peace. All right, Bobby Schmitz it is. Um, so we've got our hero, our protagonist, Bobby, is the lead of our musical. So first number of a musical needs to kind of set up the world. Uh, and introduce us to what the feel of the show is going to be, what some of the, like, the environment is, and who our, our lead is at that time. So I would think, if I was writing this musical about Bobby, which I am, uh, I would probably start the opening number, I'd say, like, 